let's go on the water for a little bit. Um, we've got a guy who I love. He is one of my favorite guys. John Paul ever. Jones. Oh, John Paul Jones. Um, so, 79, this guy does something insane. He goes and he actually attacks England. Yeah. By water. Against the greatest navy in the earth. Against we have no navy. We have no navy. <laughs> this is a ship he actually got from France. It's yeah. a French ship. And, um, well, I, quick backstory. This guy's name is actually John Paul. Mm -hmm. And he lived in Scotland. And uh, he was a little abusive to some guys on his ship. And a couple died through torture-ish mm. type things. One was a traitor, and that's why he died. But the other one just kind of... Yeah, um, punished him too hard. So he ran away for his crimes. Mm -hmm. And he added the surname, the last name Jones on the end. So now he's John Paul Jones. Mm -hmm. Really creative name. <laughs> so, oh, another John. So. You're welcome. So anyway, this guy, he comes over, and he's going to fight with us for independence. So he attacks it on his ship called the Bonham Richard. Um, and during this battle, his ship gets beat up pretty bad. Yeah. The main mast gets knocked down. It's kind of on fire a little bit. And the British ship's... Come by him and they say, you know, are you are you done? Are yet? you done are yet? You are you done yet? White flag we're, yet? Yeah, we're waiting. He for was that. like, I have not yet begun to fight. That is his famous <laughs> quote. And after that, his men they actually boarded the other ship, mm -hmm. uh, which was called the Serapis, and they took over the ship. Yep. And he sailed home. He sailed home. He sailed home on their ship. His their ship was ship. just sunken. So That's this a, is gonna be a victory. This guy is nuts. <laughs> like he attacks England. Yeah. The greatest army i mean the greatest navy in the world yeah but he wins it's insane <laughs> it's, it's just a rogue pilot that just yeah. goes out you know yeah. um his whole job he's a pirate he really is yeah he's they're trying to stop their ships um so they have less supplies mm -hmm. so that's his whole job but this is the big battle so um this also played a role in convincing the french to help us even more mm. um which so we, we don't we really think about french that much in their navy their fleets Helping out. The naval ships come and help yeah. us out. Mm, so, I wonder where they're going. Uh, mm. uh, so, yeah, mm. so uh, here's more JPJ. Uh, but he definitely played a role in that, too. So he's good to know. Uh, and about this time, something happens. Benedict Arnold turns to the dark side. Oh, Lord, Benedict Arnold. That's Anakin Skywalker, spoiler. Um, <laughs> he's finally had enough, and he decides that he's going to help out England. And Why? so. Because just because he didn't get any credit? Well, that, and his wife was actually a loyalist. Oh, yeah. So um, she was kind of like, dude, like, let's just go back to England. Happy wife, happy life. Exactly. So I got to say, if it was my problem. wife that's going to be happy, I'm not <laughs> turning to the dark side too. Uh, so, yeah, he actually joins them, and he makes a deal that he's going to give over a military fort mm -hmm. and possibly George Washington over to England. Oh, wow. So, I mean, like, when we say he's a traitor, like, yeah. capital T, yeah. traitor. He, he is, truly committed traitor. Yeah. Uh, the highest level. He, he did, yes. against the yes. United States, even though they're all committing treason, too. So, so I guess, yeah. oh, man, I guess philosophical. I guess philosophical anyway, people. Um, anyway, but he, but he ends, ends up, up joining, joining England, England, and now, now he's fighting against us, so. So, mm -hmm. boomer, boomer. Uh, um, all right, should we go somewhere else? Yeah. Okay, okay. Why don't we go down south? Oh, oh, okay. So, the Battle of the King Mountains. Excuse me, excuse me. So, we're in North Carolina. North Carolina. We're used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and so, and so, there's a big battle here. Battle here. Um, um, and the colonists need some extra help. So, they get some soldiers sometimes from Tennessee. Tennessee. Always, always volunteering to go and help somebody. These over the mountain men go and volunteer. Oh, that's where the volunteers take. Of course. That makes sense. Okay, all right. Big me. Yeah, so these guys, um, to fit there, remember, they've got some mountains in the way. Yeah. So, they have to go over the mountains. Over the mountains. And these are men from Tennessee, right? From Tennessee. So over we'll, the mountain men who are volunteering. Yeah. So these guys, their name is the Over Mountain Men. Yeah. Creative naming, right? <laughs> um, but these, yes, these are volunteers from Tennessee that go and fight in this big battle on this mountain. And this guy named Ferguson is on there. And here's the quote from it. Uh, you won't need to know this quote, but Ferguson was on King's Mountain, and he was king of that mountain, and that God Almighty and all the rebels of hell could not drive him from it. <laughs> like, this guy is so confident that he is yeah. going to win this thing. Guess what? He loses. He loses. He loses. The colonists win this battle, and... In your notes, you'd want to write down that this is the turning point battle in the South. In the South. Because at the early years of the war, the fighting's more up north. Because think of Boston, yeah. and I was saying that in New York, um, Washington kept running away, mm -hmm. he was losing everywhere. 
finally the battle was really getting more in the south now and the colonists start winning this is the big turning point in the south so make sure you know that 